Hey everybody, what's going on? We're here with a timeless reading. Welcome. All right. First card that we have out is Seven of Swords. I'm also seeing Nine of Wands too. It looks like you're preparing for something here. Something that, uh, it looks like it, maybe something that you're gonna find difficult or that you do find difficult. But I think that you're finding yourself within the process. You can also be wanting to do things like differently than you have in the past when it comes to this. It has to do with like a challenge, how it's being approached. And I think also about like how you're finding yourself through this and allowing yourself to move forward. Cause I don't think you want to stay stuck in this way any longer. And it can be something that you were doing where you were like, I don't actually think that this is helping me move through this, but it can be like really difficult to sort of like change those ways or change that pattern of behavior that is going to begin with like the pattern of thinking too. Being aware of that, becoming aware of that, addressing that, altering that. But going towards something better, because I don't think that, starting off with the Seven of Swords, that's like not feeling very happy with a way of moving through something of like, why am I still stuck here doing this? Or why do I keep doing this over and over again? Um, or being in a loop that, that you're not enjoying to, but feeling like you keep doing things that sort of bring you back into that anyway. Seven of Swords and Nine of Wands can be like, every time I face this sort of challenging thing, I end up doing that. And even though it may help me in a moment, I feel like I'm stuck here again. So I think this is you sort of getting out of something. And we have the fountain that's coming up, which is the like special card that's in this deck. It's called the Fountain Tarot. And it's about like, it's about our cosmic energy. It's about like the divinity within us, those things. And I think through like finding that and through connecting with that, there's something that you're sort of transcending now at this point. I'm also hearing something about optimism as well. So maybe you weren't feeling optimistic before and this is something that's giving you a sense of hope or like faith. Six of Wands shows you moving forward with things. I think with that intact now, because maybe you had been feeling disconnected from this part of yourself and it was like, how do I connect with it? How do I connect with it? And it all started with you being honest with yourself, but in a way that may have been very, very difficult for you. Very, very challenging. Like something that maybe you had been avoiding for a while, but I'm seeing you get to a spot where you're like, I don't want to be in this anymore. Doing it this way. Like it doesn't have to be like that. So now I'm seeing you connecting with yourself. I'm hearing restoring. Six of Swords two shows like now I'm finally able to move on from this, like I can move past this. So whatever this was, it was kind of like you in this room that you really couldn't get out of and then getting to a point where there's this like, I can get out of this room by being really honest with myself here like really honest self-reflection. I think that this also has to do with like patterns and behavior and stuff. And then within that being like, that's the most difficult thing to do here, but that's like the only way out. And so I'm seeing you get to this point where you're like, like I did it, that's what it took. And now you can finally move forward. And I'm seeing things really lightening for you. Like things look hopeful, things are looking optimistic. Things are looking sunny in a way that they had been feeling very dark before. Like there's a sense of liberation and freedom here that I don't think was felt before. There's like keeping yourself in the dark in some way and that creating conflict, conflict that was difficult to work out. But now you feel like because of connecting with yourself in this way, and the sense of self-remembering, it gives you sort of the energy that you need and the hope that you need to move through something. So I'm seeing you sort of go back into it and be like, 
I have what I need to get through this now. Like, I have the gas to move through this. The fuel. But I think before you had been feeling trapped. So this is moving over to feeling like liberated and feeling free. And feeling under the umbrella of that, which I don't think you were feeling before. It's like now the sun is shining on you and hitting your face. There may be like conflict or you could even feel like other forces like working against you. But I'm seeing you get to this point where I think you've gotten pretty good at like dancing your way through that. It's like all these things coming at you and you needing to move in a way where this isn't just like hitting you and grabbing you and knocking you down energetically. With this, see how like all this stuff is coming towards this person and they're like fancy footwork here energetically with what they're doing to not get knocked over by that. This actually reminds me of the Ram Dass quote that's, it's like you can like do it in a way, like ride the wave in a way that feels like heavy or you can do it like it's part of the dance, something along the lines of that. So I don't think it so much feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders anymore. No, I'm seeing you really moving quickly through this at this point. Conflict, addressing things, working things out. Also knowing like what to get involved with and what not to get involved with. Because there can be certain things come up and it's like you actually getting to choose like do I want to hold on to this and do something with it or is that just like not something that I want to touch at all and because of that there's there's a cohesion in the direction here I think you know too that no matter which way you cut it like we're all going to the same place at the end of the day and it's going to be somewhere that you want to be This means too that when you're facing things that feel like they're trying to push you in a different direction than you want to be going, to learn how to work with that energy to still go where you're trying to go. So this feels too like moving with like the, the flow of things rather than resistance and fighting against it too. And maybe that's part of it as well is like in learning how to do this and make these moves in this way. Like move to the rhythm of things. There being a sense of solidarity in the direction. And moving into the Nine of Cups too, this is like, you're going somewhere. You're going somewhere because you've like learned how to move within these challenging situations too. When it's like there's this chaos, learning how to like move and work within that rather than like avoiding it. Cause you see too, this person is like still going how they wanna go, even though there's all this stuff popping up. So it's not like, oh, this is gonna be challenging. I'm gonna turn away from it or like, I'll wait until it goes away. This is like, I, I can't change the circumstances or the environment, but what I, what I can do is be in control of my movement through that. So it's being able to do this no matter how like chaotic things are getting and still like going where you're trying to go. So it's like all of these different paths that are all going to the same place and that being like somewhere that matters to you, somewhere that you care about. You can be feeling tired moving through this. Like maybe this is something that's starting to feel a bit exhausting. Maybe it has been feeling like that. I'm getting something about like a treat or a snack or something about actually cannolis. That can mean something particular. Things are going to work very, very well for you. I'm seeing. So five of wands, we have conflict. Seven of wands feels like facing that head on and maneuvering through that. 
and knowing that sort of like however it is that you find your way to dance through this like you're going where you're wanting to go you're going where you're trying to go because i'm seeing you move right into the nine of cups which is like where you want to be and this is also about fulfillment as well this is like like answering the call of your heart and then we also have you moving to the ten of pentacles so that's things feeling stable too Starting off with seven of swords and five of wands, this is like shadow and conflict. So it's also too, like where am I not being honest with myself or where am I sabotaging myself or where am I not paying attention to my gut feeling? The conflict that I feel because of that, because I'm out of alignment and then the work it takes to get back into alignment in a way where I feel like there's a smoothness with the direction where there's not that resistance and now that I'm going downstream with the flow of things because I've remembered myself within this, I'm moving in a solid direction and quickly at that. So this is just like speeding through things because that's the pace of where you are because you've already dealt, worked out what needed to be worked out. And I'm seeing things like really calm down for you too in a way where things had felt very, very chaotic in the beginning of this, like very messy even. And a lot needed to be worked out, but I'm seeing you like tirelessly doing that. And again, like within that process, this like remembering and finding of self this rediscovering. Then you have six of swords going into nine of cups. So it means to like things are settling down. And it also means to you being in a spot that like feels really good to you on an internal level. And then the sun being here too, which is like, I'm feeling free and I'm feeling happy. Like you see this person, they're just like swinging around, you know, like under the umbrella of the sun. So that's like vitality and energy and creativity and happiness and joy and fun and things like that and then also ten of pentacles so there's this energy of like i'm where i want to be i feel good inside and also too like i'm physically feeling good and i'm having fun as well and then also feeling stable because of that but i think what had been happening in the beginning was actually like sabotaging in some way your stability so it was like taking you away from this goal that you had of stability and because of working out the things that you may have been doing that were conflicting with that conflicting with like the fun and the creativity and the joy and the liberation and conflicting with like the stability and those sorts of things because of working those things out now it is like this this past that you get to move over here I'm seeing definitely like a multi-dimensional approach slash strategy that it took to do this. I think too, there's a really important element in the, in the middle of this with the fountain where it's like, when you don't remember like the external things, when I say external, it's like really the stuff that's inside you. Um, but more so from a, a standpoint of when you are thinking that like the 3D plane is like all there is and when you're not connecting with like the higher like hopes and, and dreams and the divinity and like the cosmic energy of things, it makes you feel like you're stuck within this of like the redundancy and that's all there is. And so why not do it in this way that like maybe out of alignment, but does it even make a difference anyway to me, you know, like that type of mindset to then working that out and then connecting with something that feels so much bigger than yourself and like is that common thread that moves through everything and then being lit up because of that and feeling like a solid sense of direction because of that and then moving to a place where you're like oh I can be happy oh this can feel good like I can actually be having a fun time now like I can laugh like I can feel satisfied internally I can also feel safe and like things are stable and that things are going to last for me in this way self-remembering and maneuvering through things because it's not about it's not about waiting until things get easy and then being like okay now I'll get up and do it it's like no matter how challenging things are no matter how much you feel like forces are sort of like pushing you in a different direction or other people think this or whatever it's finding a way to work within that no matter like what is going on 
and that being like the real gift of things. That it doesn't need to be easy for it to work, that you can go into the most chaotic, complicated situations and still be able to like ride through that and come out on the other side into a place where you get to stay because that's actually like energetically where you belong now at this point. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.